Yeah, hi everyone, Pick a Mix Gamer here. Today we're playing as the Twins Killer to do the majority of these challenges, but basically we're starting off with property damage, and you've got a damage generator or destroy a dropped pallet 12 times. So I think you just either do one or the other. But like I said um, in my past videos to do with completing the challenges, if it's like a multiple challenge like this where you got to do loads, I'm not going to video record me doing like all 12 of them. I'll just do one just to show you what needs to be done. So let's get started. Okay, so let's find the first generator, and we've got to do 12 of them, damage them 12 times or destroy. You know what, <laughs> I just saw you go in here so I'll just do it for the fun of it. <laughs> oh, there's the generator, hang on. Lovely. Okay, and that's all you gotta do. You just gotta do it 12 times. Okay, and that's what. And that's that one sorted. This one, pretty simple. Oh, hit 10 different survivors with your weapon. You don't have to complete it within a single trial because obviously there are only, I think the way, because this is worded, <clears throat> there are only four survivors in a trial so this might take uh, three games to actually do unless it like means you can hit one then the other then hit that same one again but I don't think it does mean that. Okay, and then all we have to do, it, to do is hit 10 different survivors with our weapon. Okay, and you just do this. Oh, well, you just attempt to hit them first. Won't be a minute. Oh, bloody hell. Stay where you are. Come on, really? Yay. Yeah, it's just like that, and that's all you do. You just hit ten different survivors with your weapons ten times. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> okay. And we've completed Spree of Violence, hit 10 different survivors. I must admit, it took a bit longer than I thought it would, but yeah, no, it was, it was generally easy to do it. Right, the one we're aiming for next is Glyph Seeker. And you basically, you commune with three red glyphs. I think you can do it with a survivor or a killer. I think you only get one red glyph in one match, but they're a little bit tricky to see. So, with any luck, we should get this done, hopefully. And one. Okay, everyone, I've got close enough to it. it looks like Crash Bandicoot Crystal, doesn't it? I've just realised that. And then you commune with the glyph with R1. It takes about three seconds. I don't know if there are going to be any more glyphs on the actual map. I'll only know, you know, when I've actually explored it. But if there are, I'll let you know dead quick. Right, and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, and this is Glyph Seeker. You only have to destroy three of them. Well, commune with three of them. And the next one. Down survivors six times while using the perk Strider and complete this in a single trial so basically all four survivors just put them into the second state twice where they're on the floor crawling and that should basically be that one -la -la. and it's called take their breath away 
Right, so basically while you've got Strider equipped, you've got to just knock someone down six times in one match. So, that's one survivor. And then you just have to do it six more times. And here we go. Take their breath away, down survivors six times while using the perk Strider and do it in one try. <clears throat> Excuse me, do it in a single trial. Done. And the last one, sacrifice six survivors to the entity. And you don't have to do it all in a single. I mean, you won't be able to do it all in a single trial anyway, because it's only four survivors, you know, per trial. But this one basically is easily done. Okay, everyone, this is what you do. You just hook them up, and when you hook them up and sacrifice them to the entity, you just have to do that six times. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple. And there we have it. Is it reverent? Is that what it says? Sacrifice six survivors to the entity. All done. And that's it. That's the end of the video. If you like the video so far, please leave a like and subscribe and comment as well to let me know what you think. And with any luck, I'll see you in the next video. So bye and please stay safe.